Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Buck in kindergarten at Forest Hills Global. I have been working with a specialist to try to figure out a good way for our kids to access their websites right through our website. So this is what I've done. I'm going to use Miss Daria's page because she hasn't done it yet and that way I can walk you through what I did and I will send you the little buttons so that you can add them straight to your page. This is Miss Daria's home page. I'm going to go to the lesson plan page because this is where we're going to have our parents access every week to find their their weekly lessons and then the specialists will also have their lessons posted here with their website. Alrighty, I'm going to open up. Um, I'm going to hit double click left two times. I'm going to add some text and I'm going to put a little note here saying use the pull down tab at the top for the weekly lessons during remote learning. And that is because some of my parents were not figuring that out this week. We're going to put our weekly lessons under their own sub page. Now I'm going to add the specialists right down below the header by adding in a text box. Nope, you did not go to the right place. So let's pop you back up here. There we go. All right. Now I'd like to add in some text here. Choose your daily specials class. And I'm going to turn this into the title and I'd like it to be centered and I'm going to pull this across the very top so that it's nice and big and the parents see it right away. Then down below I'm going to double click and I'm going to embed some images and I will send you these buttons. Let's start with music. Okay, I'm going to drag this here. Nope, I don't want you to attach. Okay, let's see. Wish there was a back button on here. I'm going to I'm going to actually delete that and come back in. Her page is already so set up. Let me see if I can move this. I want to move this down. Nope, can't do that. All right, let's try again. Uh, let's double click, add the image. Here's the button. And I want to shrink it down really small. Um, that way it just looks like a little button you can push. I'd like to get this up here. There we go. Okay, so you can move things around. It's just a little tricky sometimes. Then I'm going to continue adding images next to it. And I'm going to put all of the specialists in a row here. So let's do PE next. And we'll shrink these down a little bit so we can get you all in a row. And then I'm going to add in. Okay, stop shrinking. There we go. Double click again, add image pull up. Now these are all saved in Google Drive. I was not able to do it any other way. So when you get these sent to you in your email, make sure that you put them into your Google Drive. And that way they're really easy to access when you're working on your Google website. Here's your media button. And let's do one more double click image and let's add in our art button. Double click. There we go. I want her up here. So let's move and then you can kind of fuss around with the sizes and get them where and how you want. Pretty even. Side by side. Okay, so we've got our music, our PE, our media and our art. Let's open her up a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to put their names underneath. So I think it's great if the kids get to know who their teachers are. So let's add a little text box and I'm going to add their names down below. Mrs. Snow, I'd like it to be a heading so it's a little bit bigger. Let's do another text box down below PE and we'll type in Coach Daniello. Let's make that our heading size and let's go underneath our media and add in Mrs. Phelps name and make that our heading size and one more double click add text. Let's add in Mrs. Moselle. 
Okay, so now I'd like to make these into linkable buttons. So now I'm going to go back into the actual button and I'm going to double click on it until I see, oh, try again. There's our link button. So now you're going to go onto the Forest Hills website and find their webpage. There we go, Forest Hills Global, faculty and staff. Let's find our specialists. And then we'll just add in those. Oh, where'd we go? Specials. It's been a long day. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with music. I'm just going to go straight to her web page. I'll go up here, control C, copy, back to the editable page, and let's add that link. There we go. Control V, apply. Let's get Coach Daniello involved. Here we go. There's our link button. Let's go back and find it. Back to faculty and staff. There he is. And Highlight, control C, back to our editable page. Where'd you go? And link, control V, apply. Let's do that again for these two. Back to the Forest Hill staff, specials. Let's get Miss Phelps page in there. Highlight, control C link, control V, apply, and art. There's our link button. Let's go find her. There she is. And highlight, copy it by control C, and paste by control V into your link, apply. All right, so now you're finished. If you're happy with it, you can wiggle it around, whatever you want to do, but I think it looks pretty good. It should be nice and easy for the kids to just click below. Click below. Um, it did lose my typing, so I'd like to add in, um, not into the header, get out of there. Let's try below. All right, I want to add a text box, but I want it to go up above them. So there we go. Okay, I'd like to add in our text box explaining our specials. So now let's type in choose your daily specials class and I want this to be like my main title and then I want to give them a little bit more instruction because they don't all open up to the exact page that your team needs. So what I did was I put a little bit more direction. Click on the pictures below, then look under the lessons. Oops, I need to put that with a quote. Lessons or activities, because I noticed that they're under both. Oh, I'll go back and fix that tab for weekly lessons in specials. So that's going to tell them exactly what they need to do. Let's put that into a heading. Oh, how about subheading? It's a little big. And we'll center it so it looks nice. There we go. All right. So this is how I added my specials to the lesson plans. Let's hit publish. And once that ends, I should be able to publish and then go in and find it on the website. So I will send these little buttons to you so that you can upload them into your Google Drive and add them to your page for your specialists. Good luck, my friends. Have a great weekend. See you soon.